Hello and welcome to Broken Entertainment. So, some set photos from the Flash movie came out and everybody's talking about the Supergirl costume and they're bashing the heck out of it. And some of the criticism I think is pretty warranted. And some of it, I, I just, you know... I guess the way I want to put it is this. Is this really the hill you want to uh, fight your battle on? I mean, there's probably going to be a lot of other reasons to talk about this movie and some pre-production mid-shooting photos of Supergirl's costume doesn't really qualify for me but I do want to go ahead and go over it because a lot of people are talking about it and people are interested so we'll go ahead and dive in a little bit um, now all this is on Twitter I do not have a Twitter account um, but these pictures are viewable by me so I'll go ahead and show them um, this is the full frontal picture of her. She is obviously held up by a harness here, so there's going to be a little bit of tension marks and torque and so on on the suit. And the cape's not there because they're going to add it in post-production because for some reason every superhero with a cape now has a CGI cape instead of an actual cape. Um, I'm sure there's some scientific explanation for that, but I have no idea what it is. So, this is it. Now, uh, I want to start out with what I like. Because I, I want to start out with some, some good things. Um, she's smiling. She looks happy. She, I like to see a Superman or a Superman-adjacent character who looks happy. Like, they want to be there. That's good. I like that. I think the suit almost very nearly makes the right connections in some places. And... and you know, this here um, with the red and then going down into the symbol, there are elements of that that I like and elements of it that I don't like. You know, I've seen this in some other Supergirl designs and it, it always strikes me as a little weird, but I also kind of like the extra red, so I'm kind of torn on it really. Um, it is not a dark looking costume, so that's nice, although we'll see what it looks like after post production. Uh, now for the all important negatives, right? Um, let's here. Let me grab a few other pictures here. Um, this is actually the character she's probably based on, which is uh, Lana, sorry, Lois Lane and Superman's daughter. And you can see kind of that same setup here, except here they bleed the shield into the overall design. Uh, whereas here the shield looks kind of attached, which I don't think looks that great on it, but it is what it is. Here's another shot of it right here. You know, you can see where it has some obvious, it's taken some obvious uh, stuff from Henry Cavill's suit. So I think that's kind of good too. Now, for the bad. I hate that they chopped her hair off. Saw pictures of this actress before this movie and she looked great with that hair. And the short hair that's that's cut super short and then kind of hangs down in the front just doesn't look good to me. I, I don't like it at all. Um, there's different routes they could have taken it if they wanted to do short hair that I think would kind of work. You know, because you can kind of make the argument, well, if you're going to get in fights all the time, maybe you shouldn't have long hair. That's a good argument. Uh, however, if you're going to do that, most, not most, a lot of, MMA type fighters who are women will keep their hair short, but they'll put it in like cornrows or what have you. Um, just some options they could have maybe gone with as far as the rest. So this is, this is actually really useful here. You can see his fake abs here, right? And not that Henry Cavill's not buff, but he's not, you know, Superman. Then we have these, and these are getting a lot of attention from the people that are bashing this suit, and I think, and this is just a guess, because I don't know, and none of us know yet, but I'm just going to guess. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, those are markers for the CGI people to come in and add abs later, which to me is right up there with CGIing in the cape. Just build the abs into the suit, damn it. 
Um, and I think this extra red would be fine if you had red boots. But they do not. They have blue boots, which just makes this all look kind of like some sort of weird unitard thing. And you just need more color. Just speaking as somebody who paints armies in 40k uh, and who likes certain types of art and so on, more color is needed here. You can't just do a dash of red and a whole buttload of blue. Now, the cape, once it's on, will add red, but it's going to add background red. You need red here to kind of tie it all together, and I would even suggest potentially making these stripes here red, but that you could, you could argue that. But the boots should absolutely be red instead of looking like she's wearing no shoes whatsoever. <laughs> this, like I said, these, I think these are just a marker for CGI abs, which is kind of sad, really. I don't want to go too far into it because a lot of people are going, oh, this looks terrible, this is anti male gaze, etc., etc. I mean,. I think it's way too early to judge if we're being honest and not just saying, well, I don't like the way this movie's going, I don't like this casting choice, I don't like, you know, the potential wokeness of the movie. If we're being honest, taking a step back from all of that, we don't know enough to judge this suit. We know it looks eh before post-production, but that's really all we know. Now, again... I think we can go fairly well based on colors. The all blue, I think, is probably the biggest problem, at least for me. It just makes it look like she's wearing a body sock. And this is weird, too. It's weird to me to CGI in abs. I, I, that's just a personal preference, maybe. I don't know. But I also would not take the red down the arms. I probably would have stopped it around here, but that's, you know. I think it looks eh. I don't think it's laughably horrible. I don't think it's amazing. I think it's eh. And I think the other thing it does is mostly remind me of the fact that I wish they wouldn't have recast and, and uh, race swapped Supergirl. And I've always had kind of a weird relationship with the pants on both Supergirl and Superman. Superman, I like him having his red shorts. Supergirl, I prefer with the skirt, but I can... This is okay. Uh, it just doesn't have enough color. Now, I guess there's the opportunity. They might CGI in some color. Because I'm looking at this and going, okay, you can make out these texture stripes here pretty well, but that's because you're sitting here staring at her and she's not moving. What's it going to look like when she moves? I don't think they're going to show up that much, except as like slightly brighter spots. Same with the stripes here on the arms. But to me, the biggest problem is is right here. The lack of the red boots, the lack of any color down here whatsoever to identify it as boots and not a unitard or body sock or whatever you want to call it. Is this the fight we want to have? This isn't the fight I want to have. I, I, I'm, I'm okay talking about it, but I'm not going to sit up here and, and call out this movie for this. I'm prepared to call out this movie because uh, there's a big potential for a lot of stupid stuff in it. But I'm not going to say anything until I see it. And I'm also going to say that I saw Michael Keaton in one of these set photos and I immediately liked that, but that's because I like Michael Keaton as Batman. We'll see what the movie brings. We'll see what post-production brings. I'm holding out on harsher criticism on the suit for that but just going from what we have i think it's less catastrophically bad and more just Neh. because again you know aside from the boots and these stripes that i don't think are going to really show up you know this shield would look much better if it was just blended into this red as you saw you know in that other picture and here's some more um, where she's not hanging from wires. Here's the CGI. I, I really, okay, if these are not lumps, 
telling the post-production people where to stick the CGI abs. I hope they're smoothing them out in CGI. Like, I don't, I don't know what these would be here for. You know, maybe it's some kind of harness. I don't know. If anyone out there knows, that would be great to hear. Uh, here she is again. You know, you know what would be cool is if these were gold right here. I think that would that would look pretty cool. But yeah, the more I see this shield, the more I think it should be blended in with the rest of it rather than, you know, doing it this way makes it look like they glued it on. Is there any more? Yeah, see here again, I think this looks way better. And you get the gold trim. It would look really good here too. Uh, I just... This almost looks like a cosplay of this. Yeah. So, let me know what you think in the comments. I think it's mostly meh. Um... I think it's got some bad design choices in it that probably have jack all to do with agenda or woke. It's just not a very good costume design. And I think without seeing it after post-production, it's hard to give it a final judgment. So I will hold off on that other than to say I don't like what I see. Um, as far as the actress goes, we'll see. I don't know anything about her. You know, there's just too much about this movie we don't know about now. You know, the way DC is moving, with the way they're behaving, it, it kind of... You worry about Agenda being pushed in there. There's a lot of room for them to ruin some characters that we all love dearly. Michael Keaton's Batman being one of them. But that doesn't mean they will. We've got no trailers. We've got no no story information, or very little story information. We haven't seen anything in post-production. That's all I'm saying. Now... Could we all be wrong and the Flash movie ends up being the most amazing movie ever? Yeah, it's possible. I think there's so little that we actually know outside of rumors and speculation. You gotta be careful. So I'm gonna continue to keep an eye on this. I'm kind of intrigued by the actress. I was since she was cast. I don't like the choice of her as Supergirl. But I want to see how she does. I like to see new characters brought into DC movies. I'd like to see the D the Flash movie be good. Uh, you'll notice I'm not showing any pictures of Ezra Miller because I he drives me nuts every time I see him on screen. So I'm hoping that there's enough other characters in this movie that I don't have to think about Ezra Miller being on the screen. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the bell for notifications, and I will see you next time.